Hi, I'm Dave Crane. Welcome to Turbocharge Your Brand TV. I'm going to take a very quick Merlin moment to share with you some amazing gadgets that you can get from Merlin at MerlinDigital.com. This is one of my favorites. This is a Wi-Fi and iCloud stick. What does that mean? Well, you know the HDMI cable, the connection that you get on your television. Well, you may already have bought a smart TV, but supposing you haven't. Supposing you've got a lovely flat screen TV, but you wish you'd waited and got one that was Google enabled so you can surf the internet and all the rest of it. Well, don't worry, just get one of these. You plug it in and it turns your TV into a smart enabled TV. You connect it to your Wi-Fi, you can watch movies, you can see YouTube, you can do your Facebook, you can do all the stuff you've ever wanted to do on a smart TV with a normal conventional TV at a fraction of the price. And how do you make your way around? Very simple, check this out. It comes with its very own keyboard so you can do everything you'd normally do on a tablet or on a PC but on your TV. Everything at the fingertips just as you want it. Kind of cool. Check it out, MerlinDigital.com. Great stuff just for you. And now, just for you, Turbocharge Your Brand TV. Hi, I'm Dave Crane, and in this week's episode, we're going to be finding out what makes Brad Pitt one of the world's most yummy stars, and also learning about joint ventures from the guru, Sohail Khan. On top of that, if you've got a team or you've been thinking about how to turbocharge your group, we're going to tell you exactly how to do it. That plus more on this very show, Turbocharge Your Brand TV. It's time to look at your outer game and this week I want to concentrate on team building, a huge area of my own personal business but also something that most people get completely wrong. When you want to do some team building activities, first of all you've got to know what your objectives are. What do you want as an end result? Do you want everyone to have a great time? Do you want everyone to get more passionate about work? Do you want them all to be motivated? Or do you want them all to just basically say, yeah, I love my job, time out for a little while, we're going back into work after this, and then we're going to crack on even harder. All these things and more are all the things that you should think about when you set out your objectives. And once you've got them, that's what you aim to produce. Forget all the other things that everybody else is doing. It's for your business only that you need to be looking at it. What's the quickest way to make a line from A to B? Now many businesses get it wrong. Not only do they not understand the principles of team building, but they say, yeah, we did a motivational thing a couple of years ago. We brought in a guy, or we brought in a team, or we had a company that came in and motivated everybody, but then after three or four weeks, everyone went back to normal. Well, I've got a question for you. When you eat, are you hungry after that? Well, no, but how long is it before you have to eat again? Half a day? What about when you wash? Do you wash once only and hope it lasts for a year? I really hope not. Team building, motivation, all those different elements that get the mindset right for your group, your company, or even yourself, is something that needs constant attention and constantly tapping on top of. You need to build on it, and build on it, and keep that level going on. That means whenever you set up your event, you should also be thinking about the next stage. Are you going to create an online training system? Are you going to have regular events? Are you going to even have a way of monitoring the success by doing surveys with the team and getting experts in? And the last thing I would say, do get an expert in. You might know how to run your team. You might also know how to inspire your team by giving them the best Al Pacino impression you could ever imagine. Problem is that you are known to them. It's like homeschooling. Sometimes the best way to educate a kid is to bring from someone from outside in to do it. That way the risk is reduced, you don't have to worry about man-managing everything like you do on a daily basis, and you can also sit back and learn. So bring in an expert, bring in somebody who knows what they're doing, clarify exactly what you want, and a good expert will tell you exactly what they can offer, marry what they offer up to what you're going to get, and suddenly you've got a very successful team. And now it's time for the Turbocharge interview, and with a big friend of mine and a real star in the world of joint ventures, Sohail Khan. 
Sohel Khan is a genius about when it comes to putting money together with a product or a service and getting a commission out of it. It doesn't have to be your own product. It doesn't have to be your own service. You don't even have to have thought about how it all works. All you need to do is get two people to work together and marry that process. So Hale was a multi-millionaire in 2008. And when the crash came down, he lost almost everything instantly. Not good. Well, he didn't just stay there. He decided that within a year, he would make a million pounds again. And it didn't take a year. It took him 30 days to make a million pounds back again. This guy is a genius and also a top geezer to get connected with. Maybe he can help you with your joint ventures. So here he is on Turbocharge Your Brand TV. You know, there's, there's so many opportunities in the world right now. And uh, so many people have resources that are not being utilized or not being leveraged. So, you know, as someone like myself who's a joint venture broker, I can actually literally go into any, literally any country in the world and set up JV deals with companies uh, without actually even having my own business. It's absolutely phenomenal. And that's exactly the key thing. I've noticed all your joint ventures are based on making money because you can create great relationships between people. And then when it comes down to the actual sales, it's not actually sales, is it? It's about a win-win situation, converting that into something that everybody benefits from. Without that, I guess there isn't a win-win and it doesn't happen. Yeah, and th that's the whole key. You know, everyone has to benefit from the deal. You can't go into a relationship it's like going into a relationship with your partner or your spouse. Uh, it has to be a win-win for both of you because the relationship's not going to last. You know, you're not going to stay with your your you know your wife or you know your girlfriend or your partner if you're not getting anything out of the relationship. So it has to be a win-win for both people in any relationship, whether it's business or personal. Can anybody make a joint venture? Can anybody make money out of it? Without a doubt. I mean, I'm training more and more people now in the US, in the UK, now in the Middle East to be joint venture brokers. And you know, it's phenomenal. If I can do it, don't forget, it's just, it's just teaching people how to go out there and spot opportunities. But the biggest thing is, those people who love going out there and meeting people, networking, connecting, those are the people that will really, really succeed as joint venture brokers. So if you were to give some tips for somebody who wants to get started, I mean, maybe got, well, everybody's got a contact list, everybody will know somebody who can do something. I know in many ways you didn't know the people, you go finding the right people with a market. Where should people start? Well, I'll give you a classic example. When I speak on stage, people come up and say, you know what, I do that every day. I I'm, I'm always networking and putting people together, but I make no money. Here's how you make money from networking and, and, and putting people together. Number one, you let people know in advance that it's what you do, it's your job. Your job is a broker or a connector. Number two, once you put people together, always keep in touch with them. Because you know the saying, uh, out of, si out of uh, sight, out, out of, of sight, out of mind? That's why most people don't get paid or don't get any money from deals because once they've connected people, they, they walk away. So now they're out of sight and they're out of mind. Always keep in touch with people regularly. Let them know that you need any more help. How is the deal going? And I guarantee you, by the end of the deal, if money's changed hands, those people will think, you know what, we should really pay him or her because she's been in the deal throughout, throughout, throughout. I mean, I, a classic example, I had one guy who came up to me when I spoke on stage in, uh, in the US and said, you know what, I wish I knew that before. I put these two guys together. And I only found out a couple of weeks later that they did a they did a they did a fifteen million dollar deal, and I didn't get diddly squat. Now you do have a lot of people at the top end of the money business. We're in what's seen as a global recession and a and a downturn. Is that still the case, or is there still money out there to be had? This is the biggest opportunity to make money from joint ventures. You know, companies that, that yesterday you could never approach because they were making money. These big companies are not making, okay, they're still making money, but the thing is they're more aware to deals, they're more aware to how should we create more business. If you approach a large corporate company, even being a nobody, you're guaranteed with the right proposition that companies will actually open their doors to you. So it's a good time right now to be doing deals. And now it's time for Ask Dave. And for some reason, I've become like a huge agony ant for people of all about relationships in the last couple of weeks, how to find your perfect partner. Or in this case, we've got Dennis Warwick, who's asked, Dave, how do I deal with a breakup? How can I get over a relationship? 
Well, there's a lot to it, but actually it's simpler than you think. Think about your relationship with somebody being the same as a relationship with a cigarette, or a relationship with chocolate, or a relationship with, I don't know, partying, or, or something like that. What happens is a, a, a relationship with somebody is actually like a muscle, emotional memory that's related to a certain thing. Now, in terms of NLP, this is talking about an anchor. You are anchored to a person. You could be anchored to a type of music, or to a smell, or anchored to sitting in a certain seat when you're watching television because it makes you feel relaxed. Or you could be anchored to something as simple as feeling good when you go out into a sunny day. So all you need to do is find a sunny day and you feel good again because it reminds you of what all the times were like in the past when you did it. These are things that you can manipulate, and relationships work the same way. Because it becomes a habit and an anchor when you repeat something and have very strong emotions related to it. And I hate to say it, but that's exactly what your relationship was. A load of emotions related to doing the same thing over and over again. In this case, the same thing was a person. So that's why when you sit there watching TV on a big sofa on your own without your partner next to you, you feel sad. Because something doesn't feel right. You're sitting there watching it and it doesn't quite fill the anchor properly. So what do you do? You're going to kick yourself when I tell you. You redecorate. You change the room. You move the furniture or even get new furniture so it becomes your brand new room. And guess what you're not going to remember? Sitting in there with your partner. That's why to get over a relationship, the easiest way to do it is get rid of all the things that reminded you of that person. Okay, it's not quite that simple. You've got to also think about all the things that you've learned as a relationship, all the things you can get better with, all the things you can do to get a new partner in the future, or maybe find yourself first. Most important thing is to find you. Once you've done that, and you realize who the new person is, then you can feel good about yourself, and then start changing all those anchors. But anything in your house that reminds you of your partner, anything in your life that reminds you of your partner, Change it round. Now if you've got a kiddie, or if you've got something that makes you have to still have that relationship with that partner, then tweak it. Make it so you've got the upper hand and your own relationship with that thing. It might be a bank account, or it might be children. Don't manipulate the kids. What I'm saying is make it so when you have anything that's joint, you have a new mindset and relationship and anchors with that. I hope this helps you. There's lots of different ways of getting over it and a million books. And that's for a very potted version. If you want to know more, ask me more specifics. You can contact me at dave at thelifedesigners.com. If anybody else has got better ideas, or in fact, if you want to go and see a hypnotherapist, which is probably the fastest way to do it, then feel free to do that. Meanwhile, contact me with more questions. I promise to answer them as best as I possibly can. And everybody who asks me a question that gets answered on the show will get themselves a copy of the Jump and Grow Wing system, which will turbocharge your mind, help you find a new partner, and make you king of the world, or queen of the world, if you're a girl. Or if you want to become a guy, or become... It's getting complex, isn't it? Let's move on to the next subject. It's Turbocharge Your Brand TV. And now on Turbocharge Your Brand TV, it's a bit you've all been waiting for. Brad Pitt! Whee! Well, some of the guys are going, woo, and other girls are going, whee! And I'm going, well, the reason I've chosen Brad Pitt for this week's case study is because the guy is a complete enigma. What is it that makes him one of the most bankable stars on the planet? Is it because he's made amazing films? Well, no, he's truly made some stinkers as well. But is he always great in those films? Well, sometimes he is, sometimes he isn't. But what he has managed to do is find a way to be Brad Pitt. On screen and off screen, he's an enigma. People love to follow him, to find out what he's thinking, and they never know what he's going to do next. And at no point does it seem like he's doing it for our benefit. He's doing it because it suits him, and that's what makes him completely genuine. Let's find out more about the success secrets of the one and only Brad Pitt. He's got the most confident swagger in the business, and who could blame him? Even compared to other Hollywood stars, Brad Pitt's life is utterly charmed. As a bushwhacking guerrilla army, we're going to be doing one thing, and one thing only. Killing Nazis.
Maybe it's easy to say today, but looking back, the pit wow factor has always shone on screen. What are you thinking? I'm not mistaken how nothing lasts. What a shame that is. But, but have you, you know, have you fought against that, that pretty boy tag, the, the, the sex symbol stuff, or, or do you embrace it? Well, it's the thing I was describing earlier. It gives you an opportunity, you know, as soon as you get categorized, this pop, you can turn around and come back with some, some classic rock or something. So the limits are actually, you know, become the... A nice setup. The strengths, yeah. Well, you can set up, you can surprise. In my business, you know, it's, discovery's a big part of it. And I'll cock his head back like so. And if I don't like his attitude, I will... If Brad Pitt wants us to be surprised, then he's left the best, and for his fans, the worst, till last. My God, what just happened? <laughs> At the height of his fame and game, he's preparing to turn his back on acting. How much longer would you like to do your business? Three for? years. Three years? Yeah. And then what happens after uh, three years? Hell if I know. <laughs> hell if I know. Um, I, I'm really enjoying the producerial side and development of stories and putting those pieces together and getting stories to the, uh, to the plate that may not, that would, might have had a tougher time otherwise. So, um, you know, I, I've gotten away with a few things and, I, and uh, I've uh, been pissed off about a few things. How's that? That's okay. I guess the point is, are you happy or unhappy? Uh, I'm not a... I, I think happiness is overrated, truthfully. I do. I think it's sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're not. Um, it, there's too much uh, pressure to be, <laughs> to be happy. I don't, I don't really give a shit. I... I, I I know I will be at times, and I know I won't be at times. Um, satisfied, peace, at peace, I would, those would be more uh, uh, goals for myself. So, is Brad Pitt content today? Content, okay, I'll go with content. Uh, I dare say so. Um, I probably won't be next week. But then you will be the week after. But then I'll be the week after, so I'm content with that. Here's a really cool tip now on Turbocharge Your Brand TV, and it's something that you maybe have thought about, or maybe it haven't. It's basically share this program with a friend. You're going, hold on Dave, this is a shameless plug for your show. Well, it is a little bit, but think about it. Here you have a motivational show that you're watching and you're getting good value from. So for zero cost, you can share this with a friend who will effectively think that you've done it just for them, which you have. And I've made it even easy for, easier for you by going to the website, there's a big button saying invite a friend. When you click that, you have the option of putting in five different friends. And we'll send them an email and invite them to come and watch the show as well. So what does that bring you? Well, it brings you clout, it means you're connected, and also you'll get mutual respect from everybody because they will see the caliber at which you're training yourself to get to that next level too. People will thank you for it, and they will feel that they need to reciprocate by giving something back to you in terms of resources, referrals, contacts, or even just cash. So today's cool tip, and it is a very cool tip, send them all with this link. Press that button that says invite a friend, or even better, take it from the URL at the top of this show, or send them a video, and get them too to become fans and friends, and share and spread the word all about Turbo Charge Your Brand TV. I don't know why I'm so excited, but somehow I am. Maybe because of the content in this week's show. In this week's show, we're going to be finding out how to create a bug-free mind with a mindset guru, Andy Shaw. On top of that, we're going to be sharing with you some amazing mindset principles to create your perfect business partner. And on top of that, we'll be looking at the greatest athlete of all time, Muhammad Ali. That, plus much, much more. Mm -hmm.